Hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation in Seattle, and I want to make a illustrate a video, illustration video of uh, the process of purchasing and then installing the uh, OSYNC charts. The OSYNC charts available from ocharts.org, and I want to do it on the dongle. And um, I actually here's it shows it's these green charts that are available. It, hopefully, more we'll get more in the world later on. But right now, these are the green ones that we have in this sync format, OSYNC format. I actually already own the Australian ones and the British Columbia charts. These over here. It's a very nice program, and that's why we want to promote it and be sure people understand how to do it. Um, but I discovered that there's there's several steps involved, and it can be confusing if I try to jump in and, and when I already have things purchased. So what I've started, what I'm going to do now is start with an absolute blank slate, and I'm going to buy a chart. I don't need any more, but it's an investment in research here uh, to demo the process. So I'm going to buy the charts uh, for uh, for Poland. This is a strip of charts right along here. Okay, and then so the first thing we do is we have to, you, okay, let me back up one more minute. There's sort of like two steps to this process. One is th these charts only work in OpenCPN, and for them to work in OpenCPN, then you do have to go and get the OSYNC plugin. So right now, in principle, I'm buying these charts and I don't have the OSYNC plugin. In, in fact, though, I do have. It won't matter. Eventually, you have to get that OSYNC plugin. It's free and the, the installation is very simple. I can illustrate that as well. But right now, this is a totally separate process. I'm dealing with OSYNC, OCharts.org, and I want to buy the charts from them. And, uh, okay, so shop. And I have set up an account. So I have to log in to my account right here and sign in. Now, that's a very easy process to sign in. There's, a, there's steps on that. Uh, it's not invasive. Uh, you don't need a credit card to sign up for, you know, to get an account. You will obviously need PayPal or a credit card to buy something, but to set up an account, you don't need anything. And so here are, um, here are my... And also, with this new name here, Tobias Birch, um, we, we don't have any uh, S63. These are the normal ENC charts. Now, in fact, with my own account, David Birch, I have quite a few of these, uh, these charts, so we had to buy one of these permits. But that's a different process completely. Now we're talking just these my OE sync charts. This is what we're dealing with. Let me also clarify something that puzzled me for a long time. These S63 charts, that's official government charts that are encrypted with the S63 format. That's an IHO standard. Um, they don't sell those charts here. They just sell a plugin that lets you use, uh, uh, lets you display those in uh, in any program actually. But I think that plugin is mainly for Open Open CPN. Um, and then, uh, but, but, but you have to buy the chart somewhere else. And that's where this thing, and this puzzled me for a long time. This VARS for C S63 chart, that stands, I, I think I've concluded, that stands for Value Added Resellers. Like that. So this is this sentence here could be sources for S63 charts. And Chart World is a, sort of an interesting place. There's many places you can buy these uh, S63 charts. Chart World is one that kind of brokers several different sources. But what they're telling us here is, if you want S63 charts, then you could get them from Chart World. Right now we're not. We're getting only the my O O sync charts and. This OCharts web page we're on now is the only source for these, period. Okay, so that's where we are. Let me see if I click that. Uh, please be sure you've installed your plugin. Okay, so we don't have any plugin. Um, we haven't done the plugin yet, but eventually we're going to have to. Now, and we don't see any charts. So if I look at my charts, I don't see it. There's nothing here. You see, I don't see anything. Okay, so I'm going to now go proceed to the checkout and actually um, uh, sign in and proceed to checkout. Let's see, what do I need to do? Proceed to checkout. 
proceed to check out. You must agree to the terms, okay? I agree to the terms. And we go to the checkout. It's eight euros, and we'll pay with a credit card like this. Okay, now I'm going to pause for a minute and look up a credit card and buy this and then come back. Okay, I am back. I have put in my credit card information and presumably spent my 8 euros. And this is the receipt. And I'm going to just say continue. Now, what do we have here? Uh, I think this is all done. Order confirmation. View your order history. There it is. Okay, so now I've got one chart. So OSYNC charts is here. So look, I've got, this is what I wanted to show because this is now a clean machine. I've got, um, this, is, this is information we're going to have to do to get them onto a given computer. But right now, looking up here at OCharts, on my account at OCharts.org, I see what I expect to see. This is the, the serial number or something for these Polish charts. Well, there's the name, and this is the order reference number right here. These two places here, I'm allowed to install those charts two places. Now, uh, you could do on uh, two different computers, or you could put it on one computer and one dongle, or you could put it on two dongles. Right now, what I want to do is put these charts on one dongle, and that's the process that we're going to do. And that, I believe, has to be done from OpenCPN. So I'm going to stop here for a minute and get the OpenCPN open and uh, show what we do next now. But this is our proof. We can log out. It shows that we've bought this chart. We own this chart, but it's not installed anywhere. This would be assigned here someplace. And this is information we need to assign them. But I'll come back to that.